So uh, what's up guys, it's your here by Nino Orquaji and if you guys are watching this video right now that means you're either currently downloading or you're waiting to download the new 1.55 update for Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 slash Warzone. And if you've been uninformed, this is the Season 6 Haunting update for Call of Duty MW3 and Warzone, the last season to update, because after this, it's Black Ops 6 time, but they're leaving off Modern Warfare 3 with a bang. We're going to be introduced to a new 6v6 map called Drive Through, which looks pretty insane, five shipment map variations, a meat variation, which looks really crazy, called Mad Cow. And within Warzone, we're getting spooky slash haunting variations of both Rebirth Island and Vondel, both re respectively known as Hellspawn and Vondel Knight. And I loved Vondel Knight last year. This should be another great year for it. We got a couple of new weapons to unlock, three new conversion kits slash aftermarket parts to treat us well before Black Ops 6. And with every seasonal update, we got a new battle pass, which features Michael Myers as the starting offer that he can get by purchasing the battle pass. And he looks pretty insane. Nice to see him here since Call of Duty goes. And at tier 100, you get this crazy Farah skin. So definitely tune in for the rest of the operator skins and weapons that you can unlock within the battle pass. We got the new season six weapon prestige camo, which looks insane. And of course, a whole bunch of bundles, but most importantly collabs with Smile 2, Trick or Treat, The Walking Dead again. There's a bunch of stuff they got coming up. So if you guys are excited to hear all about season six, see what we're able to unlock slash purchase and see what's up with Modern Warfare 3 and Warzone season six in general. Make sure you guys drop a like in the video, subscribe, and turn on those post notifications. If you're new to the channel, I mostly upload high kill Warzone gameplays and store bundle videos and other sorts of random videos, but time to time, I do new slash update videos like the ones you're currently watching right now. So if you like this video, definitely check out some of my past content. I try to keep things entertaining or informative on all my videos, so hopefully you enjoy the vibes. And without further ado, let's go ahead and talk about how huge this update is and when you can finally download slash process it. So when it comes to the download size of update 1.55, it's a little bit weird. So when I downloaded it on the PS4 version, the update ended up being only five gigabytes, which I thought was really odd because that's a small amount. But then a viewer sent me their recording of them downloading the update and ended up being around 21 gigabytes as you guys can see here. So I'm not sure what's exactly in the right. However, when I downloaded the update on my PC Battle.net account, you know, over on Battle.net, ended up being around 20 gigabytes on there. So I think it's more closely around the 20 gigabyte mark. Maybe because I don't have Model for 2 downloaded on my, my, my account that I don't get the extra 20 gigabytes or whatever. So your download sizes might vary. Just keep in mind, it might be around 20 gigabytes on all platforms. And if you guys are wondering when this download will finally be installed, this will be installed at noontime Eastern Standard Time around the time you might be watching this video or later on during the day, as usual. So now that we got the logistics out of the way, let's go ahead and talk about the actual content within Mod Warfare 3 Multiplayer Season 6. Now when it comes to multiplayer, we got one new 6v6 map known as Drive Through. As you can see, it's uh, it's kind of like a square. kind of reminds me of Shipman if it was a bit bigger, but it's still a very small map. It has a cool killer clown theme, and I just like the whole vibe of it. Can't wait to play on it. And the rest of the Season 6 maps are variations of existing maps. The first one being a meat variation known as Mad Cow. Just gave it a whole Halloween makeover and makes the map more creepy, which makes sense, you know, knowing that this is like a, a meat district. And of course, we couldn't end MW3 without five new shipment variations. So we got Arena Shipment. We've got Stay High Shipment, which is based off of the, the Get Higher modes. We got Bitment, which is an 8-bit version of Shipment. Ghost Ship, which kind of reminds me of the MW2 Shipment, but it has a little bit more of a spooky theme to it, which I kind of like. And then we also have Sunny Shipment, which is very out of place for this season. But I think we've all been kind of wanting a Sunny Shipment. I don't know why we didn't have this in the beginning of the year, but I'll take it now. And for multiplayer modes, we got some classics coming back. We got Horde Point, which is Hard Point with Zombies. We got the Arcade Mode, which has been in previous seasons of MW3 slash MW2. We got Mutation coming back, which is that whole like humans versus mutant things I think we saw in season four. And we got Infected coming back with the Infected being the, the, the Bubby Operator skin with claws. So you just got to claw them to get them infected and it's generally the same game. And we got our last season of ranked play here for MW3 season six. And here are the ranked play rewards. Unfortunately, there's no camels to earn. Those are just like MCW blueprints. So just thought I'd inform you guys on the stuff that you can earn for ranked play. And keep in mind, ranked play might not be live within the first hour or two of the update, but after that, 
it will be available after some time. Now going over to Warzone for Season 6, we got two variations for Rebirth Island and Vondel. With Reaper Island, we got Hellspawn, which really gives it a very creepy and eerie vibe, which I love. And then we also got Vondel Knight, which we saw last year with MW2's Season 6. And there's a couple of new modes to talk about within Season 6 for Warzone, which I really like. First off, we got Purgatory, which is essentially Plunder, but with a ton more stuff in it. But like Plunder, there's custom loadouts available and there's infinite respawns. On the special version of Rebirth, you'll see insane power-ups like killstreaks all over the place and insane blueprints, portals that can transport you to various parts of the map, a flying shipment island. So if you're able to take like a portal to the sky, you will be able to land on shipment which is pretty dope. And there's also safe zones across the map where if you enter the safe zone, you can't shoot anybody. And instead you enter a third person mode where you can kind of talk to the people. I don't know, this is a really unique sort of mode. And of course there's little scare packages that we've seen in previous years. So when you open up a package, sometimes a little spooky thing will happen and jump scare you. And apparently you can win in this match. It's not really specific on how you can win. So I'm very interested to see how this mode plays out and how people like it. And we got the classic zombie royale that we've seen in previous iterations of The Haunting, where uh, the people that stay alive are just trying to win the game, but when you die, you respawn as a zombie and you gotta infect like the other players while you're playing, which I always love this mode. This mode is addicting. And we also got our Warzone Ranked Play rewards right here for this final season of the MW3 year. And we actually have some camels to earn within Warzone uh, for this year as well. That will be universal on the MW2 guns and the MW3 guns. They might not transfer over to the Black Ops 6 guns though, but something to grind for. And just like within Season 4 and Season 5 of Warzone, there's new Warzone reward camels to earn just for doing some objectives in the game. And these look pretty fire. Season 5's was a little bit weak. The Season 4 camels were really amazing. The Season 5 camels were kind of weak, but these Season 6 camels, they look pretty fire. I'm going to go ahead and skip over the Warzone Mobile stuff because I don't really cover Warzone Mobile. So now let's talk about the new guns they can unlock through the Battle Pass. We got the DTIR 3006 Battle Rifle, which you can find in Sector 6 of the Battle Pass. And this is a slow firing, but hard hitting battle rifle that you can pretty much kit out to have very low recoil. So it's a god tier gun at range, which I'm definitely gonna be using this amazingly in Warzone, and as well as getting some nukes in multiplayer. And we've also got the Cast Off LSW LMG, which you can find in Sector 9 of the Battle Pass, or next to the Black Cell starting point, which I'll point out in the future. It has the best in-class fire rate and tax stance accuracy. So it's an LMG that's actually useful for short to medium range. And I think this gun might kind of act like the Finn LMG from Model Over 2019 Season 6. So kind of some nice parallels there. So it has a 100 round mag by default. So you won't have to worry about running out of ammo either. And I think this LMG is going to be it problem in model for 3 mp i can't wait to use it with season six only being four weeks we got three new conversion kits slash aftermarket parts that we're going to be able to earn here first off we got the jack salvo conversion kit for the cat amr sniper rifle it's a sniper modification that fires anti-material explosive rockets that deal significant explosive damage and this is basically going to be like the na45 from call of the advanced warfare which is basically like uh an explosive sniper. You played Advanced Warfare, you remember that sniper. We've also got the Jack Volt Storm conversion kit for the Storm Ender launcher. And the description reads, high voltage electricity is cycled through copper coils and discharged in a lethal bolt capable of hitting multiple targets. So there's one of two ways that it's gonna go about with this conversion kit. It's gonna act like the Tempest from Black Ops 3 and Black Ops 4, or it might act like the EM-1, a laser gun, from Advanced Warfare. That's where I think this Storm Ender might feel. So you might be able to damage some people with this thing. It might be fun. And for our third conversion kit here, we got the Jack Lance, which is the conversion kit for the MX Guardian shotgun from MW2. The description reads, a pressurized magazine that fires three ballistic rivets, one per magazine rotation. Pressure builds while the weapon is idle until the maximum output is reached. At critical pressure, velocity, and precision are vastly improved. Not sure what that means. I think this means it might be like a three shot burst shotgun very similar to this one shotgun from black ops 2 i forget the name of it i think it was the m1216 if you remember the shotgun put it down in the comment section below but i think it's gonna act like that interesting conversion kits just wish there's a bit more and of course with this being a new season we got a new weekly challenges camo and this time you only got to wait four weeks because we're gonna have three conversion kit weeks and then the last week being a blueprint week and we got this new camo that features a very Halloween creepy sort of vibe, which fits perfectly. I like the look of it. It's going to be animated with this 
uh, monstrosity face being, you know, detailed all over the gun. And I think it's kind of a W. I don't think it's going to beat Season 4's, but I think it's definitely better than Season 5's. And with Season 6, we're seeing our last level increase to level 1250, which is Prestige 25. And at max level, you can earn the new uh, MCW max level blueprint here, uh, which looks really clean. And finally, with Season 6, we have the last weapon prestige camo, known as Constellation's End. And it's fully animated with a whole bunch of colors. And in order to earn this, you of course have to earn one trick, Obsidian and Mercury, and then another 300,000 XP on top of those camos to earn this for a single gun. I think I'm going to get this on the Super E or the MCW, and that'll be it for me until Black Ops 6. Let me know if you're going to be grinding for this for every gun in the game. I don't think that's going to be possible. Now let's move into the cosmetics for Season 6, which include the Battle Pass, Black Cell, and some collaborative store bundles. So starting things off, here's the Battle Pass in case you guys are curious. If you want to unlock the new DTIR Battle Rifle or the new Cast Off LSW LMG, all you got to do is go over to Tier 6, on the top left there for the battle rifle and then for the lmg you go to the tier 9 on the right there for the lmg but if you end up having black cell for this season you can start at the black cell starting point and if you go to the right to tier 20 or the sector 20 you end up getting the battle rifle you know blueprint there and if you end up going on the left you end up getting the black cell blueprint for the lmg which is at sector 14 so that's how you pretty much get the, the new guns as quickly as possible now before covering the season 6 operator skins i thought i'd inform you guys of the three new operators that you get from the battle pass so at sector zero and when you end up buying the battle pass straight up, you just get Michael Myers. Michael Myers is immediately available for you. And you have Black Cell, you end up getting his Black Cell version. I'll talk about more about Black Cell here soon. And also at Sector Zero, you also get Farah, which is not, you know, a new operator, but it's a new skin that I should inform you guys about. And then I also want to inform you guys of the new Black Cell operator, which is Alone, which is like this three-headed ghost skin that looks very creepy, very demonic, I guess you could say. And I don't know how hitboxes are going to work, but if you hit the wrong head, I guess it wouldn't count as a headshot, right? So this is definitely going to confuse people in some way. But now I'm going to talk about the rest of the operator skins, and I'll talk about Black Cell here afterwards. So at Sector 1, you end up getting this Makarov operator skin known as Shaded Soldier. At Sector 4, you get this Banshee operator skin known as Campus Hell. At Sector 5, you get this Valeria operator skin known as Final Girl, and she's a cheerleader. People needed to have Valeria as a cheerleader, I guess. And it, may, it fits the whole zombie, you know, haunting theme. Kind of reminds me of like Stranger Things or whatever. At Sector 11, you actually get this new operator called Slamfire, which he looks pretty cool. Is he from The Walking Dead or am I stupid? Let me know in the comment section below where he's from. At Sector 12, you end up getting the Last Straw skin for Dokaibi, which looks really crazy. This is one of the better skins in the game. At Sector 15, you get this Riptide operator skin known as Bubby's Night Out, and it's basically Bubby from, uh, I believe, Burger Town, unless I'm stupid in referencing that, but we've seen Bubby before in previous Call of Duties. It's cool to see him now. And this skin at Sector 19 is probably going to be the most broken skin, in my opinion, and this is a Jabber Operator skin known as This Is Fine. And it's weird because it's two Operator skins. So you have Jabber, and then you have this clown behind Jabber that legit holds him. So in-game, you're actually going to be both characters, and you're actually going to be the person being held by the clown as you're shooting your gun, as you guys can see from this picture through the new 6v6 map. People are going to be so confused. I don't know if people are going to be able to, like, hit this properly. I don't know. I can see a lot of issues arising. I'm definitely going to be using this skin if it ends up being broken, because it looks kind of crazy. And then when you complete the entire Season 6 Battle Pass, you end up getting this Tier 100 skin for Farah, known as Urzik Stan's Ghost, and this has got to be one of the best skins in the entire game. She's just in all black, and she legit looks like the Grudge, honestly. That's what's kind of giving me the vibes of. I love this look for her. It looks, it looks crazy. Now let's head on over to Black Cell. With Black Cell, for $30, as always, you get the 20 or 25 tier skits, depending if you're on PlayStation or not. You get the Throat Rip Finishing Move. You get 1,100 COD points. You get the Black Cell versions of all the operators here, including Michael Myers having his, like, blue outfit instead of the gray outfit or whatever the case is. And if you guys are wondering what the Tracer Weapon Blueprints are, immediately you get the Rival 9 and the STG Blueprints that you guys see on screen. 
And then throughout the battle pass, as you're collecting the blueprints, you'll get black cell versions of the of the longbow sniper rifle, as you can see here, the SVA 545 assault rifle, the cast off LSW LMG, which we showed off earlier, the BP 50 AR, the WSP 9 SMG, and the static HV SMG. So those are the guns that are going to be getting black cell versions of the original blueprints. So that's like what eight or nine guns. Not too shabby. And now let's talk about the store bundles and the collabs they have lined up. So we got the Tracer Pack, The Walking Dead, Daryl Dixon Operator Bundle for 2400 cop points, I'm assuming, which comes with traces for the Holger 556 and the Striker SMG. And there's also a signature Daryl's crossbow. So he's going to have a crossbow tracer as well. We got the Terrifier coming into the game through the Tracer Pack Terrifier Operator Bundle. And he's going to have traces for the Ram 7 as well as the WSP9 SMG. Next up, we got the Tracer Pack Trick or Treat Sam Operator Bundle. And with this bundle, you end up getting traces for the Superior 46 SMG, the Season's Greetings Ral MG LMG. And you also get Sam's Lollipop's Melee Weapon, which is apparently, I guess, an actual lollipop. And it has another death effect as well. And apparently he has a lollipop finisher. So I can't wait to see how that is in game. We also got the Tracer Pack Trick or Treat Halloween Mask Pack Bundle. Which comes with a whole bunch of operator skins you can see here. As well as an MTZ 556 Tracer. Haymaker Tracer as well. We got the Tracer Pack Smile 2 Bundle. Which comes for operator skins with Makarov and Valeria. Looking crazy from the Smile movies. And you got traces for the SOA Subverter. And the Static HV SMG. Next up, we got the Tracer Pack Nuptial Nightmare Ultra Skin Pro Pack, which is one of those bundles that you pay $20 for, but then it gives you 2400 cop points back, as well as a bunch of other cool stuff. So this is definitely going to be a very nice one, because that's a really nice operator skin, as well as an AR and LMG Tracer Blueprints. They didn't really tell me which AR or LMG would be. Next up, we got the Tracer Pack Miklan Tecutli Ultra Skin Bundle. If, if I said that right, let me know in the comment section below. But this is an operator skin for Alejandro celebrating Dia de los Muertos. And it comes with traces for the Static HV SMG and the BAL 27 AR, which is going to be pretty nice to see. Next up, we got the Tracer Pack, the Entity Ultra Skin Mastercraft Bundle, which is based off the Entity from Zombies with that STG with the Galaxy Tracers. And it, ba it basically gives the Entity the same effect as the STG. And we got two Tracer Blueprints, one being a Mastercraft BAL 27 and the other one being the TAC Eradicator, which are pretty much going to have similar tracers as the STG that we saw before. We also got the Tracer Pack Oktoberfest 2024 bundle, which comes with a new operator skin for BBQ and Reclaimer 18 shotgun tracers, as well as DTIR tracers for the new gun in the game. And lastly, let's talk about the Season 6 events really quickly here. We've got the Haunting event, which is going to take place throughout the entirety of Season 6 from September 18th to October 16th. We got the Walking Dead Road to Terminus from September 25th to October 2nd, which is an XP event. We got the Trick or Treat Candy Hunt event from October 2nd until October 16th, where you have to collect candy to unlock rewards. So it'll be very similar to like the trophy events uh, from MW2 and those types of events, if you remember those. And we got Purgatory Island event happening from September 25th to October 16th within Call of Duty Warzone. And the final event, the MW3 Rewind, happening from October 9th to October 16th. Pretty much just a walk down memory lane, which I'm interested to see how they, they rewind MW3 here. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Let me know how you guys are feeling about this last season of Mod Warfare 3. A little bit of a shorter season just because Black Ops 6 is literally a month away at this point. We're like 38 days away. Uh, I'm really excited to see how this game ends. And keep in mind, on October 16th slash October 17th, we're going to get the whole revamped UI for Call of Duty to prepare us for Black Ops 6, which is going to be kind of cool to see uh, when that happens. So instead of a Season 6 Reloaded, that's what that type of update we're going to be getting. But let me know what your favorite part is of the Season 6 update here. Hopefully this news and tips and tricks has helped you guys. Make sure you guys drop a like and subscribe to show that support. I just want to say thank you for an amazing year here on MW3 and Warzone. On to Black Ops 6. After a couple of weeks, obviously. I love you all.